I'm go ahead. Do your, do your thing. Go, come on. They're all waiting. Aren't you guys waiting? Yeah, they're waiting. What are you going to do? Yeah, John, John, Johnny and I got this. Get in the rain. Just sing. Get in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. I'm laughing at the clouds. I smiles in my heart. And I'm ready for the love. Let the stormy clouds chase everyone from the place. Come on with the rain. There's a smile on my face. I walk down the lane with a happy refrain. Cause I'm singing, singing in the rain. That was, that was lovely. Let's hear it for Storm. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, but hey, hey, wait, wait a second. I, I thought you were going to play Stormy Weather. <laughs> yeah, Stormy Weather. <laughs> Johnny, you're grounded. <laughs> All the respects and copyrights and all that good stuff. So, this is my weekend as a superhero, or what I learned, cosplaying. Yes, I am a circus freak. Yes, I made my own characters, Moxie, Lolly Shine, Mama LaRue, but I have a huge, huge love for characters that other people have made and thought about for years and decades, and they've brought them to life. I would obsessively read books and play video games till my thumbs had blisters and anxiously watch for the next episode of whatever my favorite show was going to be. And I would tell people that I would see sometimes that you would look fantastic at this character or your voice is so perfect for this villain. I would tell them that they could do it or they could cosplay this person or they could be that villain or they could, or they could. See the problem here? I told them they could, not me. I thought I was way everything wrong. I thought I was not tall enough, not short enough, my skin way too dark, my hair so very wrong, and my weight so far over the scale that there's no way I could be a villain, let alone a hero. So last year, I lost a lot of weight. Yay, I lost a lot of weight. <laughs> Still shrinking, but I lost a lot. And I gained about plus 80 confidence. And I decided, you know what, this year, I'm gonna cosplay. Gauntlet, thrown. So I thought to myself, who would be a good person for me? Who is strong enough, talented enough, a team player? Who can, can just do amazing, fantastical things and yet be really humble and down to earth? Aurora Monroe, Storm. So I watch video after video after video of how to get dreadlocks under a wig. Yes, all of my hair is under this wig. <laughs> I, I, I learned how to get better with hand sewing. I got over my innate fear that a sewing machine would eat my fingers. I sewed this. <laughs> I sewed the cape out of my old prom dress. <laughs> Had a much better time, trust me. <laughs> I learned how to put on makeup. I learned how to stand and do a really good superhero pose. This, not attractive. This, not so much. This, totally does it. Also, I learned a photographer's thank you trick. Don't point directly at the camera, point to the side. Because they can see whatever you're holding or your hand or whatever, it's awesome. So, all of this is not done by me. I had help because I decided if I'm gonna do this, I need help. It's okay to ask for help for something you are creatively passionate about or curious about. This headpiece, made out of something called warbler. 
Amazing stuff. I never knew about it. Dan Miga makes this. He makes other stuff too. He's fantastic with it. The wig, I learned how to put on and take off safely and stow safely and put flattering makeup on and other aspects of cosplay by Samantha Moss. She also sewed this hip scarf. I never knew what rooching was. This is a rooch. No idea. Learned. <laughs> the lightning bolt. Her husband, Zach Gruber, made this out of Sculpey in two hours. Two hours! I was flabbergasted and stunned and amazed that these people, when I asked for help, they could create something like this. And with me putting together borrowed boots, a full dancer's bodysuit, a scarf, a, a cape made out of an old prom dress, bracelets at the dollar store, earrings that I had to spray paint, a jewel that I super glued to ribbon and sewed on, makeup applied, earrings on, wig hidden with my dreadlocks, and I'm ready, and I'm terrified. I am terrified. The day before the con, I lock up. I put all this on, I'm like, I can't do this. I can't, I cannot do this. Because suddenly in my head, I was fat. I was stupid looking, I was dumb. I cannot cosplay Storm, she's Storm. She's like number one hundred on the top scale of the most known and loved superhero. So I had my friend take pictures of me. Um, I just wanted to see how silly I looked. She said, no, you look amazing. Absolutely amazing. So the next day, on the dark trade, full regalia. <laughs> <laughs> at nine in the morning, cause I'm a nut. <laughs> I walked to the Sheridan Hotel for a screw attack gaming convention and this one little wisp of this wig, man. <laughs> I walk and this lady got off the train with me and stopped me and said, where are you going? And I told her it's a convention. And she said, I don't wanna insult you or get this wrong, but you're Storm, right? And my heart melted. This random lady, who was not even going to the convention, saw me, knew who I was, and gave me the most amazing compliment. Said, you look amazing. Well done. Everything after that, my, my weekend was amazing. 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 Now, Screw Attack Gaming Convention, for one, they have their own hand sign. It's like SGC, woo, really cute. For two, their motto was inspiration. And I took that with me and I still got it. I got inspired to, to cosplay. I got inspired to help other people in the, the, the character cool down room and give them tips and advice for what they could do to improve their outfit. And they did the same for me. I learned that if you do wanna cosplay something and you think that your body isn't the right shape, play to your strengths. Learn what you can wear for your body and, and, you know, tailor to it yourself. Or go to a custom tailor and go, what can make this look awesome for me? If you want to, or if you want to wear some crazy headpiece like that's this big, like Princess Amidala big, do research, learn, have no hair, no problem. Wigs, wrong color hair, no problem. Wigs, or if you really are gung-ho about it, safely, safely, color your hair. <laughs> if you want to cosplay at all and you happen to be the opposite gender of your favorite villain or hero, crossplay. Do it! Totally do it! It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen! I want to cosplay the 10th Doctor. <laughs> later, later, later. But above all this I learned from my weekend as a superhero, underneath it all, with the wig and the makeup and the contacts and the earrings and the shoe that happened to break but then someone gave me yellow duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> above all this, your creativity can be sparked anywhere and you can inspire somebody to do something you thought you could never do and it turns out really good, or you learn from it. So go be creative and go inspire somebody, especially yourself. Thanks. Kosharis, everyone.